and welcome back to my channel and my Vlogtober vlogs. Again, I'm pre-recording this so I'm not entirely sure what day it will go up, but it will go up in the month of October. I discovered that we had ordered too many peppers on our shopping order this week, so I have decided to use them up. So what I do when I get in a situation like this is I go on the Slimming World website um, and let's just turn the brightness down and I search for the ingredient that I've got too much of. So if you go into the search function and search for peppers and then choose recipes, you will get a few pages of recipes that contain peppers. And I knew that I fancied a soup. So I, the first, at the, actually the first result was this squash and red pepper soup. And I will put the link to this recipe in the description box. Um, the, these recipes usually tell you how to make it in a pan and then blend it. But I'm going to use my Morphe Richards soup maker. So what the recipe, the ingredients you'll need for this recipe are one butternut squash, peeled, halved, de-seeded and cut into cubes, two red peppers, halved and de-seeded, one onion, roughly chopped, low calorie cooking spray, which is actually for your frying, so if you're using a soup maker you might not need that, 1.1 um, litres of vegetable stock, I'll use two of these vegetable, no vegetable stock pots which are free on the plan and see how much water we need. Uh, to serve, it suggests four tablespoons of fat-free natural fromage fray and chopped fresh chives. Uh, and it'll also say at some point to add seasoning. So the seasoning I'm gonna add is salt and pepper. Uh, I'm gonna use some mixed herbs. I'm going to put a little bit of chilli powder in because I like a bit of heat and I'm actually going to put some dried herbs actually in the recipe. So let's get started on the worst bit which is all the chopping. Right, so as you can see I've sliced my peppers into halves and de-seeded them and what we're not going to do now is grill them until tender and the skin is slightly charred and remove the skin. Now I've never done this before so we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to pop my peppers under the grill. Love my Oxo Good Grips peeler. As you can see there, I have peeled and chopped my onion, peeled, de-seeded and roughly chopped my butternut squash. My peppers have been grilling and I've been turning them regularly, so I'll have a go at de-skinning them now. Right, so the peppers, I did grill and blacken a little bit and I have removed some of the skin but not all of it. I think they need to be quite black for it to make the skin easier to remove. But I have got better things in my life to be doing than spending hours removing skin. So some of it's left on, but I'm sure it's all it's all goodness and that, and it'll taste exactly the same. So I'm just going to spray my soup maker with Fry Light. 
Then I'm going to stick in my two roasted peppers, my onion, and my butternut squash chunks. Looking forward to this already. Just roughly chopped. And then I've got 500 ml of veg stock here. So I'll add this first and then I'll top up with water if I need to. Give it a quick stir. I have boiled the kettle just to help the stock melt. So that's 500 ml of water. Then I'm going to add a good dose of salt. Remember, this will do me at least four portions, so you need to season enough for four portions. Good shake of pepper. Mix herbs. Some chives. And then I'm going to carefully add a sprinkle of chilli. That'll be fine. <coughs> Do excuse me. And there's room for some more water. Oops. So I'll add some more boiling water from the kettle up to the max line of the soup maker. And that's probably about 900 ml. <coughs> I'll give that a good shake, uh, stir. And I'll turn you around to show you what it looks like. There we go then. That is the re uh, pepper and butternut squash soup mix ready in the soup maker. And I'll put the top on. Is that on? No, I don't think that's on. That's it. There we go. And I will select smooth on 21 minutes. So I will see you then. Here we go, 20 minutes later. And we've got a lovely orange coloured soup. I'll portion this out, give it a little taste and let you know what I think. There we go, four portions of pepper and squash soup. It's really, really nice. It has made four portions at about uh, 370 grams each. Uh, free on the plan, speedy with the pepper and onion, oh and squashy speed as well. It's not a thick soup, it's more runny, but it's nice, it's an in-between one. Um, you, can, you get the kick of the chilli powder, which you don't have to add if you don't want to, and the butternut squash adds a creaminess, so I'm going to really enjoy this. If you try it, let me know. Please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.